Sergio Quinos taking on Paradise, the problem, Valvasa. Sergio Quinones. Weighing yesterday 155 pounds, lightweight, 34 years of age, standing 5 foot 9 inches. What a professional mixed martial art record of 14 wins. Fighting out of Huron Boxing MMA. Now here we go, finally. This fight between Sergio Quinones and Paradise the Problem Barbasa will take place after a year and a half of waiting. 34-year-old versus a 31-year-old. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Paradise Barbasa! See what works out for him. Doesn't seem to be thinking too much. And you know, that's a good mindset to have when you're coming into a professional fight like this. You don't want to be all wild up and nervous. You want to be calm, have a steady, uh, level head. Definitely. Paradise Calvasa is in the case for our main event of the evening. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The most anticipated bout of the evening. This is our main event of the evening. It's sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Brought to you by Zone Rose Cage Fighting Series. MMA Raw and Executive Shield Private Security Company. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands 5 foot 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds even. He's 34 years old, fighting out of Gene Ocho. His name is Sergio Chione. And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he's on those cage fighting series number one contender. He is Paradise. The problem, the Russia. Referee for this section bout is Edward Pilates. Red, but most anticipated fight of the evening. The main event, Paradise, the problem, Valvasa. Taking on Sergio Chiones. Here we go. Oh, Valvasa clinching up right away, looking for that takedown. Single that trip there. Gets the takedown. Looks like Kionez has the butterfly hook sunk in. Maybe looking for a sweep here. There's a three-year age difference between these young men. The older being Kionez, 34 years old, three years the elder of Valvasa. Valvasa, five foot six. Quinones 5'10". I'll tell you, this is not a very good position for Sergio Quinones to be in. Even this worse early now. in the round. Oh, Valvasa looking for a head and arm choke. Very seasoned grappler is Paradise Valvasa. He's got the wrestling and the purple belt to back it up. Valvasa looking very calm and comfortable on top. He's not breathing heavy. He's taking his time, as is Quinones. Quinones looks calm and collected as well. And these guys know it's going to be a long fight, and it's a title fight. They don't want to waste all their energy in the first round. They're going to take some time to feel each other out, get their bearings. Looking to pass here is Valvasa. Valvasa is so hard to shake off when he's on top. Guys with stockier builds like Valvasa, they just have all the leverage in the world, especially on the ground. Yeah, definitely. Looks like uh, Sergio's got a hug of the neck, lets it go there. Paradise doing a very good job, staying heavy on top, not allowing Sergio Quiones to create any type of space. However, Quiones is looking for a leg mission there. Valvasa ends up on the back. Both fighters back to their feet. Back on our feet. Nice shot landed there by Valvasa. Oh, big leg kick by Valvasa and a huge right hand by Quinones. Valvasa going for a double leg kick down. Will he get it? Both fighters back to their feet. Nice knee landed there by Valvasa. Oh, nice head movement. Beautiful overhand right there, Randall. Big head kick by Valvasa. 
So the John looks to land more of those. Another big leg kick. You can already see the welt forming on the left leg of Quinones. Looking for the sweet, beautiful takedown by Quinones. And Babas is right back up to his feet. Very hard to hold down. Quinones anticipating those knees. Looking for a guillotine choke. There's Quinones. Looking for the double here. Himself, slam himself right out of a guillotine attempt. He's going to look to pass that half guard once again. Get to Stand up! Stand up! Short elbow! Passion short elbow! Looks like Alvaz has transitioned into full cool mount here. Sergio doing his best to stay tight. Not allowing Balbasa to posture up and cause too much damage. Yeah, but you can only hold him down like that for so for long. So long, absolutely. Eventually, those arms are going to burn out. He's going to have to work on something else. Balbasa looks like he's okay with being uh, flattened out here. He knows eventually Pinona's arms will burn out. He's going to have to let go eventually. Looks like he's going to push the head down. Trying to create space here. Finding some shots from the top here is Balbasa. Balbasa is very patient on top. Torres is up on bottom. Down. Torres looking for a choke here. Goes for the Anaconda choke. Balbasa slips out. Very good scramble there by Sergio Torres. Jonas is going for that head and arm choke there. Or maybe using it for an attempt to sleep. Ten seconds. Great first round there. Great first round by these two lightweight fighters. Paradise, the problem about Vasta, Sergio Quiones. So far, the problem about Vasta is definitely being a problem for Sergio Quiones. I have him up ahead in that round, at least 10 to 8. Controlled the, the most of that round. Stayed dominant, dominant positions. Definitely a 10 to 8 round for me. Unofficially. Yeah, you know, 10 to 8 rounds are very hard to come by. You gotta do a lot of damage, and your opponent has to do very little if the judges are in the any round. Sergio Jonas did show a little bit of um, striking ability. I did see that. I definitely give that round to Alvasa, although I say that it's a 9 round. Definitely. Both, both very high level strikers. Absolutely. I can see that. And Colantes gets us started for round two here. Jonas attempts an uppercut there. It looks like it was blocked. Nice leg kick by Balbasa. Oh, it looks like that leg kick may have staggered Quinones a bit. Oh, nice oh, leg kick. an uppercut. Another leg kick. Oh, that leg looks badly hurt. Jonas he goes has the same thing. Paradise Valvasa should be doing everything he can to get back on his feet and continue throwing leg kicks at the now swollen left leg of Quinones. Yeah, he's definitely a quicker fighter. Quinones going for uh, possibly a choke of some type here. Let's see if Valvasa stand back up. Gonna do just that. Watch the trip. Pinona's having uh, trouble putting pressure on that left leg. You can see he's moving a little bit differently now. Oh, Galaza slips. A lot of sweat on the mat here. Yeah, a lot of fights tonight. A lot of sweat. 
Perspiration, a lot of blood. Another leg kick by Valvasa. That should be Valvasa's top priority here. Overhead setting up those leg kicks. See, Quinones does not want to stand up with Valvasa. Valvasa that leg is in a lot of pain. Punch. Oh, big knee by Valvasa. Looking for a choke is Valvasa. Valvasa's got a guillotine locked up. You can see how tight it is from our angle. Yeah, here's where the sweat plays a factor. Absolutely. Both fighters he are pops out of the guillotine. Yeah. Both fighters are slipping at this point in front. Hard to pull out those type of positions. Looks like Sergio Quinones is safe for now. Working from the half guard of Paradise Valvasa. Looks like Valvasa's got the deep underhook on the right side. Looking for the sweep here. Now Quinona is going for a guillotine of his own. Valvasa will pop out. Definitely a lot of, a lot of redness to the left leg of Quinones. Yeah, that's definitely going to be bruised tomorrow. Great job keeping his top position. Has worked his way to side control him. Take the back once again. A little too high. Sergio back to his feet. Mabasa yeah. are back on their feet. Mabasa yeah. should be looking for more leg kicks. Nice. Lands a body kick. Beautiful right hand just landed. And Yoda should be working on those takedowns. That's the position he wants to be in now. Here we go, another. Babasa looking to lock up the guillotine choke again. It looks tight. It's like a hand and arm. And Yoda is able to roll through, but he's not out of danger just yet. That arm is still in. You got it! You got it! There you go, keep the high guard. Keep the high guard. Transitioning into full mount. See if Alvasa can create some space and last some hard shots here. Sergio Kiona is doing a good job keeping Valvasa close. Valvasa looking to create some distance here. Landing some hard strikes from the top. So Valvasa ends up on bottom. Is your new lightweight champion. Wow. That was a textbook clear arm bar right there. Done with proper technique. What a fight. What a fight. Great fight by both of these lightweight fighters. Absolutely. Looks like, like you said earlier, Sergio looks like he's living here. A little bit, yeah. His leg is definitely... Yeah, that leg came out when he said that. Those leg kicks thrown by Valvasa definitely uh, affected Sergio Jones in that fight. Took his legs out. However, Valvasa, the victor, did a great job. It was just all over Sergio Jones in that round there. They had a call to the house to clean up. Let's get ready to clean up, guys. Lost a, lost a couple family members to COVID-19 this year. Uh, his brother, Tumal Valvasa, shout out The winner, improving his records to seven, seven wins and four losses. And new Zonglo's Cage Riding Series, lightweight champion of the world. Well deserved. Yeah. Paradise, the problem, Valvasa. Uh, also lost his brother, Peter Valvasa, to COVID on the same, basically the day after another. Rest in peace, Peter Valvasa. It's been crazy, man. It's been crazy. I know he's got a lot weighing on his mind and heart, so I'm proud of him. I'm happy for him. I'm proud of him. Happy for him. Couple years ago, lost his father, Paradise Valvasa Sr. Yeah. Going victim. Been looking to fight for his family's honor ever since. Shout out to the old Valvasa family. Leonard T. Evo. Shout out. <laughs> 